That was definitely a bonus. It looks so good on this. A strike. Hey everyone, welcome back to JR Pro Shot Vids. Today we're gonna take a look at the brand new Radical Spy. So if any of you are Radical fans, you know that Radical doesn't really believe in making a urethane ball. So I think the Spy here is gonna replicate what urethane does without pushing too much oil down. It's gonna burn up the fronts, but not carry the oil down as much. So we've seen similar concepts in the past, having plastic balls with asymmetric cores. Examples of this are the Widow Spare from Hammer and the Track Spare Plus. But this one's a little bit different though. We don't have a traditional polyester cover stock. We have a textured polyester. So it's gonna have a little bit more dig into the lane and hopefully more overall hook than those balls. So for comparisons today, we're going to throw a traditional polyester ball, and we're also going to compare the Spy against an entry-level reactive ball in the Twist. So my prediction for today, we're going to see a little bit less overall hook than a ball like the Twist, but a little bit more than what we get of polyester. So for the oil pattern today, we're going to bowl on Main Street, but it's version 1. It has a little bit less volume than the modern version of it. It's going to be very close to what you see in your leagues. We got Brando back on the lanes. Let's see how he makes this new Spy look. Today, we're reviewing Radicals the Spy. I'm gonna start with my left foot on the big dot. Let's see if this hooks at all. All right, um, it's pretty straight. We are gonna have to move right to see some friction because that ball did not hook at all. I will warn you, Lucky 9 is one of the slickest houses I've ever been in, and definitely the slickest one I've ever bowled league at. If you ever come visit us for a tournament, bring some balls that hook. Moving five right. Hooked a few boards, but not much. It looks like it tried to roll up, but I still have to move right or slow down and give this ball a chance to hook. Decent flare lines on this. It's a bit hard to see. I've got that much flare. And by the way, these colors are beautiful. I love the color of the ball. Wiping the oil off, this plastic is not going to absorb oil the way resin will. Moving another three right, I'm going to soften up just a hair. I want to give this ball a chance. Plastic on fresh conditions is not enough ball. Gonna keep moving right. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, this ball needs to be sanded. We gotta give it a chance. It's way too slick out here today. I'm back with a little bit of friction. Let's see if I can get a little bit of hook out of this ball here. Right of target. All right, that wasn't a very good shot. I missed right of my target, but it hooked a bit. It just proved that a ball needs friction no matter what in order to hook. And a plastic ball or polyester type, it's not gonna create friction. If you wanna see more about that, watch my twist video right up here. All right, all right. A strike, a strike. I had to slow down, move a little bit right, find something. Um, this is probably the most trouble I've had striking one of our vids yet. It's not really showing what it can do. Let's pull that twist out and see what happens. Entry level reactive and I've sanded this down to 3K just to give it a bit of bite. So much better. The reactive resin ball, even at the entry level, is just so much stronger. It just further proves that cover stock is the biggest indicator and factor in hook potential. Let's do that again. It felt so good to see the ball hook. Little inside. Perfect. Can we just make another twist video? It looks so good on this.
Perfect. That's the ball reaction you need on fresh. Just gonna try to get my hand up the back a little more. All right, I don't think my plastic ball would have done that. This ball definitely has a little more continuation down the lane, but I really need to be soft. I put a 2K pad on that. Let's keep on going to spy. I'm gonna come back aboard here. A little right of target. Oh, oh. I think I would have 457 with my normal plastic ball. That I'll give credit to the core for. That was definitely a bonus. Just carry the 457 with the spy. Let's see what plastic does from the same line. I just sanded this down by hand to 2K as well. And that's a bit right of target. Not really that different. Just a little bit less down the lane in my opinion. Let's try again. Single ring of flare. Just that one line going down the ball. Nope, that didn't pick up. I'm gonna move my eyes a little bit left. To tighten my angle up that way. Yeah, flat 10. And that's just definitely something I expected of throwing my plastic ball. No core, really no cover, no entry angle, no power into the pins. All right, question time. So just a couple weeks ago, Radical put out a video comparing the Incognito and the Pearl against a couple balls by Motive. Um, they got a ton of heat online, of some really, really angry comments of people not liking that kind of marketing. I mean, this is like Pepsi versus Coke, direct, angry, mean marketing there. But I mean, it did prove a point. A machine threw the balls. The Radical Balls did cover more boards and strike when they had it lined up the way they wanted to. Do you enjoy that kind of marketing? Do you like seeing Radical be a little more aggressive and try to compare themselves to other companies and take out their competitors that way? Let us know in the comments. I expect to see a lot of them. A Little bit right of target. Yeah, I missed a little bit right of target. I imagine I probably would have two pin with the spy from there. I may have grazed the head pin with, with my plastic from there, and this ball went sideways down the lane. Big difference in ball reaction between reactive and polyester. Let's hit my target once. Yeah, and that's just entry level resin just being so much stronger than polyester plastic. If you're somebody who has ball speed, you'll get way more use out of a ball like this. Um, if you're somebody that's really soft with their speed and you really need an out, then yeah, check out that spy. Let's get lined up with a twist. I am thinking four boards left of my feet. Pretty close. Yeah, perfect. I think that's how I would play this pattern with well, probably almost all the balls I have. This would definitely be one of my top choices for attacking a drier house type pattern. Let's buy it one more time, then we'll take it back to the shop. Back from the lanes and out in the pro shop here, here to talk about the Radical Spy. That was probably the most grueling on a lane review I've ever had to do because we just had too much oil. Um, ultimately, this is a polyester ball and despite having a huge core and I was getting five inches of flare on this ball, uh, it just wasn't enough ball to make it back to the pocket. Um, I needed more cover. I needed reactive resin or urethane or something a little more grippy on this kind of a pattern. It hooked marginally more than my polyester ball. It finished a little bit more on the back end and it hit the pins just a little bit harder. But on a pattern like this, that difference was marginal. I think I would have saw more of a variance if we were on wood lanes, something really dry and something where it had some back end. 41 feet of fresh oil was just too much for this kind of ball. Compared to other balls in my bag, I threw the twist. The twist was a good four or five board stronger. It started up a little earlier. It had a lot more response off the friction. When I missed in the oil, it still tried and it gave me a chance to get up to the pocket. When I missed left with the spy on this kind of a pattern, it just skated right through. As for who I'd recommend the spy to, it'd be somebody with really soft ball speed. I mean, like 
scoots or maybe somebody that really turns it like Jimu, but way, way softer. And also bowling on a really dry lane condition. You probably have to be bowling on wood lanes to get really good use out of this, or be going to practice when they don't dress the lanes, they're not oiled yet. Personally, as somebody who has ball speed, and a little bit more of a spin, because I grew up in dry lanes and I'm very used to having to find ways to manipulate the ball to get further down the lane, it's not something I really need. This is just my new spare ball. I'll probably use it once or twice a year for strikes. The interesting thing I found about this ball is it didn't really roll like a reactive resin ball. I thought that by having a core, it would hit the corner harder and have more motion the way most other balls in my bag do. If anything, the Spy rolled a lot more like urethane, just weaker. This would be something I'd recommend for somebody who likes having urethane in their bag, but the urethane balls hook too much or too early. Here's something you can use to ball down to from urethane and not have to get into a polyester ball that doesn't really have any drive into the pins. The Spy didn't have a lot of drive, but it had a lot more than my polyester. So it's definitely an option that way but still probably not my first choice. So if you wanna stay right and you throw it soft, go ahead, this might be a decent ball for you. It's definitely worth a shot, and at worst, you've got a, another spare ball. The Spy is a ball that just doesn't match my style. I've got too much ball speed, too much axis tilt, and not enough hand. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and also please comment below what you thought of Radical's perception versus reality video with a big dig on motive. See it up right there. And also please check us out on shop.grproshop.com. We've got a bunch of brand new shirts. I just ordered a new gold one. I'm the first, so please order some different colors. Don't be like me. We got eight different colors. There's hot pink, there's sapphire, there's gray, classic. And yeah, check them out, enjoy. Coming up next, we got Jungo with his fresh fade haircut. Why I had to sand my ball by hand out on the lanes because he was in the pro shop getting his due. Um, and he's going to be reviewing the dark coat. And also, the new EFO will be out soon too. Check those out. Thanks for watching.